gonna be vlogmas day two or day three or but uh yeah i guess i decided i would try to participate in vlogmas this year if you don't know what that is all it is is just you know you vlog every day in the, the month of december i want to say i think until until christmas day uh or maybe even like until the last day of December. I'm not sure. I think either way, like, I, I would just stop after Christmas. Well, that's just me. I don't know. Uh, so I really didn't know what to do for this first vlog for Vlogmas. Uh, other than just, uh, yeah, I included... Just some shots of me, like, driving around. Just really short clips. Because uh, pretty much that's what I've been doing as as a job lately. Delivering for po Postmates. If you don't know what Postmates is, Google it. <laughs> well, it's pretty much the same thing as Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash. Or, yeah. Food deliveries and whatnot. So, so and here in El Paso... Uh, it's just just recently starting to take hold. I mean, people are just now starting to realize how cool it is and all that. So, yeah, uh, that's what I do pretty much as a job now. Uh, and I, I like it. I mean, I believe I've mentioned in like some other previous vlog stuff, car vlog thing, uh, and so, I mean, I guess I don't want to go too much into it. I mean, I'll provide links if you do want to check out, like, the last car vlog thing I did. So, uh, but anyways, for Vlogmas, I guess really for this first one, I just wanted to briefly talk about the holidays and what they mean to people. Because I, I feel like for me, as I get older every year, for me, it's kind of like the holidays take on a different meaning. Uh, granted, sometimes, like, I mean, I would say I actually went through, through, I actually went through a short period where I didn't really like the holidays that much. And, uh, and it was primarily just because I didn't like that uh, every time most of my relatives would get together, you know, they we tend to drink a lot and argue a lot with each other. And every, every now and then sometimes uh, an actual fist fight would break out. And <laughs> uh, though, I guess you could say that that tends to be part of the norm for a lot of families during the holidays or, <laughs> or I don't know, maybe I'm just alone in that or I, I don't think I am, but, uh, and I'm not. I'm not saying that I think that's okay. I, I. I mean, I definitely do not think that that should be the norm for any family during, especially during the holidays or any other time of the year, but especially during the holidays. <laughs> and, uh, but sadly, it is a norm for a lot of families, and um, which I feel definitely sucks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know. And then add to that, there's the whole materialism thing. The fact that, you know, people are, expect gifts or, or at least a certain amount of gifts, uh, presents. 
especially kids, like, I don't know, I honestly, I, I mean, granted, I do, I do love my nephews and my niece, but I gotta be honest, and I gotta say, I feel like they are definitely spoiled. <laughs> Maybe not spoiled to the point where, uh, you know, well, I don't know. I guess they're more bratty than anything else. And I mean saying that, you know, I'm I'm not saying that I don't like them, that I don't love them. But, yeah, and then, I mean, because they have the tendency to, like, especially around this time of year, they want so many different things, you know. They want a new iPhone, an iPad, an i-whatever. <laughs> yeah. All these expensive things. And then even when they do get them, they end up losing interest in them, you know, after using them for like, I don't know, bear, not even a couple months. They lose interest after a couple months. I mean, with the exception of their phones, because, you know, like most teenagers today, they're, they're glued to their phones. <laughs> They document like every single muscle movement that they make. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, I mean, I, I wish that my, well, definitely my teenage nephew and niece, I definitely, I wish they were more into other stuff like reading, writing, art, you know, or anything creative like that. I mean, my nephew, my teenage nephew, he does play the guitar and he plays uh, keyboard. And he's pretty good at that. But it's just like, he spends he spends way more time, you know, doing Snapchat stuff and Instagram stuff than he does playing his guitar or playing his keyboard. And I don't know, I just feel like, you know, he should take a break from all that social media crap and, and my niece too yeah they get wrapped up in you know the hype of everything and they allow themselves to get carried away and i mean you know they're, they're teenagers their their brains aren't fully developed and as much as you know teenagers often will come off as being adults adults like i guess uh you know, it's easy to forget that they're not adults. Uh, yeah, they're they're kids. Yeah, they're teenagers, but they're still kids. Their brains aren't fully developed. You know, I mean, everything they they do and say and act upon, it, it all comes comes from this. You know, part of their brain that. Uh, mostly responsible for emotion so it's it's like for most teenagers well all teenagers really <laughs> some more than us but you know for most teenagers you know every time they act on something every time they have like an idea like they have like a stupid idea they convince themselves that it's the greatest idea in the entire world and you know it's, they end up either hurting themselves physically emotionally or hurting others physically emotionally and and yeah, that's because their brains aren't fully developed. <laughs> they act on their emotions and, you know, uh, yeah, I, I could go on and on about that, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff on that. Just need to, you know, a quick Google search will bring up all that stuff. And, <laughs> but I have read, like, some actual books on the subject, too, so uh, maybe I should, like, reread some of those books and actually do more of a, like a thorough, in-depth kind of review or talk or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, if you're watching this, let me know what do, what do the holidays mean to you? I mean, I guess ultimately for me, definitely the holidays are about, you know, just being around family, uh, obviously, but... <laughs> But also, you know, appreciating uh, each and every moment, you know, just appreciating the little things that we have. Uh, 
you know, appreciating that, you know, hey, if you have clothes on your back, a roof over your head, you know, if uh, three, three, at least three meals a day, <laughs> then you're doing good. You're doing great, you know, and add to that, if you, you know, if you got, you know, any, any one person or more than one person in your life that actually cares about you, then, yeah, you're doing good and you're doing, well, yeah, good and great, awesome. <laughs> Definitely better than, you know, unfortunately a lot, you know, millions upon millions of other people just in this country alone, just in the U.S. alone. So, I mean, let alone worldwide, but yeah, that's... So yeah, I guess I would I guess I would say as of right now in my life, the holidays to me mean appreciating everything, everyone you know, that is in your life. Yeah. And yeah, I mean even, even that includes the people that rub you the wrong way. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, obviously, you know, if somebody's or if somebody is in your life and they're always they're constantly negative then yeah, you need to get away from them, get them out of your life as soon as possible. But otherwise, just appreciate everything, appreciate every moment, uh, you know, because what it really comes down to is, hey, none of us know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or the next week or the next month or the next year. Next five years, 10 years, 20 years, you know, 50 years. So, I mean, I think you kind of, you can get what I'm getting at. <laughs> Just appreciate it, you know, as much as you can, you know, whatever you have in your life. Uh, don't sweat the small stuff, you know. Just because you don't have the latest model phone or the latest model car or, you know, the biggest house. That doesn't mean that your life sucks. No, not at all. So, so yeah, I guess I'll do it for this vlog for Vlogmas. And, yeah. Again, let me know. You know I'd like to know what the holidays mean to other people as far as, you know, if you believe. Do you believe that materialism should be a big part of the holidays of, of Christmas or or Hanukkah, you know, if you celebrate Hanukkah. If you do believe that, hey, that's cool. I mean, let me know. As I'd like to know, you know, why you believe that or not, or, you know, so. But yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this. Thanks for listening. As always, the next time, no fear. Keep it real. Keep on rocking. And peace. Yeah.